Welcome to the 1988 Tufts University commencement. The student procession will begin. of Tufts University will be in order. May we seek and speak and act upon the truth without fear in the spirit of kindness and commitment to all of the family of life. And may our souls be open that you might reveal to us the beauty everywhere. Amen. It is now my great pleasure to introduce the president of Tufts University, Dr. Jean Mayer, who will now address us. Welcome to our distinguished honorary degree recipients and their families, to the families and friends of the graduating classes, and most especially to the graduates. We're all very proud of you. You've worked hard to be here today. You've been good students, good athletes, good citizens of the Tufts community. We hope you will continue to be active as alumni. You're going on to a great diversity of schools and careers. Your teachers have prepared you well, and we expect to be as proud of each of you in the future as we are today. In spite of your varied goals, all of you should continue to do one thing, which is build bridges. 
These are not the sort of bridges that civil or mechanical engineers learn to build. The bridges I'm speaking about are social and political links between individuals and between societies who must function effectively but peacefully together. At the same time, you will remember that people with whom you may disagree share many aspirations with you, and that bridge building between peoples and institutions is essential to our society if it is to work and to the world at large if we are to survive. We wish you well in all you do and undertake. We will miss you. Our friendship and confidence goes with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. President Maillet will now confer the honorary degrees as voted by the Board of Trustees. Mr. President, I have the honor to present Clifton R. Walton, Jr. to receive from your hand the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Thank you for giving me the privilege of sharing your commencement. Especially for today's graduates and families, I know that this will always be a day to remember. The culmination of so much hard work and sacrifice the threshold to so many long-anticipated futures. On a day like today, I assure you that the most graceful thing a speaker can accomplish is to evoke the spirit of the moment and then get out of the way for the real celebration. The first, in fact, is an argument for greater intellectual rigor. It is that ignoring the history, literature, arts, and philosophy of non-Western civilization makes it almost impossible for us to acquire a full understanding of our own. Dawn finds our citizen garbed in pajamas, a garment of East Indian origin, and lying on a bed built on a pattern which originated either in Persia or Asia Minor. Breakfast over, he places on his head a molded piece of felt invented by the nomads of Eastern Asia. And if it looks like rain, he puts on outer shoes of rubber discovered by the ancient Mexicans and takes an umbrella invented in India. He then sprints to, for the train, the train, not the sprinting, being an English invention. At the station, he pauses to buy a newspaper, paying for it with coins invented in ancient Lydia. Once on board, he settles back to inhale the fumes of a cigarette invented in Mexico or a cigar invented in Brazil. Meanwhile, he reads the news of the day, imprinted in characters invented by the ancient Semites, by a process invented in Germany and printed on material invented in China. As he scans the latest editorial, pointing out the dire results to our institution of accepting foreign ideas, he will not fail to thank a Hebrew God in an Indo-European language that he is 100% Dewey Decimal System invented by the Greeks, American, from America's Vespucius, the Italian geographer. So, to all of you who are graduating, warmest congratulations and good luck. Class of 1988, it is time we let go. You, like the Jays, will fly, and we and your parents will be proud. It is time to commence. We shall now have the address to the graduates by Michael Epstein, Wendell Phillips Award winner, College of Liberal Arts, class of 1988. The maturation process is going to take a little effort on my part, if I intend to start to truly resemble an adult. There are adjustments which have to be made now that I am no longer living the euphoric life of the college student. Becoming an adult requires a dramatically different lifestyle than we all are used to living. Remember. Adults don't play quarters or air guitar, they play bridge and Neil Diamond albums. <laughs> and although we may not yet be prepared for Neil Diamond albums, 
We leave Tufts University today with the tools needed to lead a successful and fulfilling adult life. We each take with us something unique from Tufts that will help us in the real world. To the class of 1988 at Tufts University and around the country, I say this. We are adults now, and our destiny is in our own hands. Let us begin again. The 1988 commencement is now over. God bless you all. Let the light be diffused.